My name is Tim Holt, and I had a private practice in Gunnison, Colorado for many years where I got interested in high elevation, and um, four years ago I joined the Veterinary Teaching Hospital in Fort Collins. I started doing this um, back in 1980. Okay. 7980 is when I first started doing this. But how many cows do you do a year? Oh, probably around, if you count bulls, heifers, old cows, whatever, probably four or 5,000 a year. What makes this study so special? I, I think that if you ask one of the ranchers in high elevation, especially I came from Gunnison up until then, that high altitude is their, probably their number one killer on the on, on the mountain. So it's not anything to lose 3 to 5 percent and even higher than that. The most devastating losses I've seen are up in the 80 percent of the calf crop, but it's nothing to lose 20 percent. So it is a devastating loss, and the fact that it's genetic makes it even more devastating because if you get it into the herd, then things tend to get worse in a hurry. So what we're doing, especially in the Angus breed and some other ones, we're looking at AI sires. So if people want to buy AI semen, they can get a trend of this, if this AI bull is trending to throw low PAP testing animals or higher ones. So we're trying to get trends and we're trying to mark um, like up here, they're looking at nutrition, they're looking at feed efficiencies, and now we're adding high altitude and just looking for the genetic trend for a healthier animal. By the time an animal dies, how much money is a, a rancher got involved in them? Now, you know, if, if one of these bulls would die, it's probably easily at 1,200 to 1,300 loss right there. And that is, that does not include calves that he may or may not sire. That's just right out of the pocket, probably twelve to $1,300 loss. Do they pass the genetic trait on? It's so genetic that they tend to pass that genetic gene on, which causes that calf or that heifer to be hyper-responsive in high elevation as well. So that puts that calf at risk, and then if that animal is put into the genetic pool, then their calf is at risk. and so.